here with another universe mode episode and tonight is a very packed night because we're starting up a universal title tournament but it's not kicking off smackdown here tonight it's a number one contenders match to see who will be challenging the smackdown tag team champions at clash of champions first we have the hurt business cedric alexander and shelton benjamin trying to get an opportunity at the SmackDown Tag Team titles. I believe this is their first time ever teaming together and I think Benjamin's first ever match here on SmackDown. But our next team we've seen these guys team before Austin Theory and Johnny Gargano the way. Johnny Gargano is a former Intercontinental Champion in this universe mode. He held it for two days. Oh my goodness. Of course the Hurt Business breaks out on the way oh my goodness Shelton going straight for Austin Theory and now he's going into the ring is he trying to go for Johnny now oh no but Johnny's running away oh he still punches him right in the face you gotta look out for Austin Theory because he's going after Shelton Benjamin oh and a drop kick right to the face Austin Theory couldn't stay in control for long though a lot of changes is going to be happening to SmackDown. Ever since the draft, like I mentioned, there is going to be a Universal title tournament to see who challenges Roman Reigns going into Clash of Champions. But right now, we're focusing on the SmackDown tag team titles between the Hurt Business and The Way and Austin Theory tags in Johnny Gargano. Johnny Gargano grabs Cedric Alexander, but with a couple of elbows right to the gut, he releases the hold. I mean, Johnny Gargano knows how to get the job done, but does he know how to retain the job? He did win the Intercontinental title from Jeff Hardy on the episode of SmackDown, making him tap out. But just two days later, at Extreme Rules, he lost his first ever title defense. So he knows how to get the job done, but I don't know he knows how to retain. Oh, look at this. He throws him into the corner. And it seems like Shelton Benjamin is about to come into this match. Oh, look at this. An elevated DDT. Okay, I've never seen this before. I like that. I like that. i never seen that before. But he tags in Austin Theory. Are you kidding me? He literally got to Austin Theory immediately. All because Austin is in this match doesn't mean he'll be in control. Shelton Benjamin just dominating Theory. What is Shelton gonna do next? Goes for the punch and the chop was reversed. Kick right to the gut, hooks one leg and slams him down with a suplex right in his corner and he goes to tag in Gargano. Johnny slams him down with a slice bread. Oh my goodness, what is he gonna do next? A couple of forearms right to the face. Oh my goodness. What's Johnny gonna do next? Springboard from the second row goes for the pin, but Shelton kicks out immediately. Gargano trying to go for the double stone, but Shelton moves out of the way. He tries to hit a move, but no. Johnny reverses it, slamming him right now on his back. And oh, look at the frequent tags from the way. They're such a good tag team out here on Friday night. Goes for the pin, a one, and a two, and a, oh, Shelton just barely kicks out, oh my goodness. He tags in Johnny already, oh, but he tags in Cedric Alexander. He's like, y'all not about to beat me down like this, but oh my goodness, Johnny Gargano was in control for a little bit, but oh, what is this? This looks like the signature, oh my goodness. Goes for the pin, one, and a two, and a kick out by Johnny Gargano. A whole bunch of chaos is going on. It looks like Austin Theory and Shelton Benjamin got in it for a little bit. You know, if this man could get out of the ring before he gets disqualified, you know, you don't want to disqualify your own team. Oh, gosh, he slams down. Oh, this is why he used the tap out, Jeff Hardy. This is what he used to win his first ever Intercontinental title. Will he make Cedric Alexander tap out? And it seems like it's just not going to happen. Oh, my goodness, that knees right to the back and a punch. Cedric with the chop and another chop was reversed by Johnny. Oh my goodness. What is he about to do now? And slams him down right on the back. Oh my goodness. He was trying to tag in Benjamin, but he couldn't get there. Oh, it was reversed. Was that a signature? I'm pretty sure it was. I wasn't paying attention to the thing. Another signature slammed down by Cedric Alexander. One and a two. And a, oh, Johnny Gargano kicks out at two again. Johnny Gargano gets hit with a finisher it's probably night night for him oh he slams him down with another sliced bread oh my goodness goes for the pin a one oh not even whoa it was a one count because it did show and he tags in austin theory 
Austin Theory charging up that finisher. What is Austin Theory's finisher in this game? Oh, it was reverse kick right to the knee. And oh, a love bar check. Oh, my goodness. The sell from Austin Theory knocks Johnny Gargano off the apron. Goes for the pin. Is this it for the way one and the two and a kick out by Austin Theory. And he tags in Shelton Benjamin. The Hurt Business is really trying to make their tickets to Clash of Champions. Really trying to get a SmackDown Tag Team title opportunity against the Usos. And Austin Theory is getting beat down right now. A couple of elbows right to the side of the head. What is Benjamin about to do next? Oh, no. Austin reverses it. No, no, no. That was the signature, too. And he reverses this suplex into a suplex of his own. And Austin Theory is about to get a knee right to the side of the head. No, never mind. It was reversed. And he slams him down right on his back. Okay, interesting move, Austin Theory. He's so close to getting stunned, too. All you got to do is bop him with, like, two punches. Okay, what is he about to do next? Grabs him and throws him into the corner. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, he clotheslines him. And, oh, gosh, I think this is the signature. Oh, that's a blockbuster right there. And he picks him up. Why does he go for the pin okay interesting decision from austin theory fall away slam and he goes for the pin one and a two no cedric alexander was right there to break it up oh gosh he tosses him out of the ring Shelton Benjamin left all by himself, but he's still in control of this match. And the most devastating move in all sports entertainment, one and a two. And what the heck are you doing, Johnny? Oh, my goodness. If Austin Theory did not just kick out, Johnny Argano would have screwed his team. He got him into the corner. Is he about to hit another signature? No, it doesn't look like it. It's a rolling elbow. Oh, my goodness. And tags in Johnny Gargano. Johnny does not have a finisher, but Shelton does. Oh, gosh. A chop right to the chest and a finisher out of nowhere. Goes to the pin one and the two and a break up by Austin Theory. Oh, my goodness. It was just too close. It was literally too close. These teams are just going back and forth, back and forth. Who can get an opportunity at the SmackDown Tag Team titles? He slams them down. Shelton Benjamin going up to the top rope. What is he about to hit to Johnny Gargano? He slams him down with the moonsault. Oh, my goodness. Goes for the pin. Opportunities on the line. One and the two and the three. That was it for the way the Hurt Business are the number one contenders for the SmackDown Tag Team titles. Oh, my goodness. These two teams gave it all they had. But at the end of the day, only one can walk out as the winner oh my goodness but let's move on to the beginnings of our tournament so this is how our tournament is gonna work we're kicking it off with keith lee versus cameron grimes obviously a quarter final and then later on tonight we're gonna have braun Strowman versus Rey mysterio obviously next week we're gonna have samoa joe versus walter and seth rollins versus jeff hardy but tonight we're focusing on the quarter finals the Limitless One trying to get an opportunity at the Universal title. Him and Roman Reigns did have a match before. It was on SmackDown. He got an opportunity to face him and Edge at Money in the Bank, but he lost the opportunity. Is Keith Lee ready to beat Roman Reigns now? Straight to the moon, Cameron Grimes, the newest person here on SmackDown, trying to get a universal title opportunity about immediately. Imagine if Cameron Grimes won this whole entire tournament, how crazy that would be. We are officially underway with this first match of our universal title tournament. Oh my goodness. Keith Lee just let Cameron Grimes walk up to him as he hit a double chop right to the chest. He picks him up off the ground and slams him right into the ground with the elbow. Keith Lee just picks up Cameron Grimes and slams him onto the ground. Oh my goodness. I hope this isn't no squash match. Keith Lee is really trying his hardest. He definitely is hungry for a universal title match. He had so many opportunities, but he lost all of them. But if he won this whole entire tournament, he would definitely prove that he earned a universal title opportunity. Oh gosh, what is he about to do to Cameron? No, Cameron is in control of this match with the DDT. 
Cameron going up to the top rope, but Keith Lee gets up immediately, punches him right in the face, and tosses him down. Oh, my goodness. What is Keith Lee going to do to Cameron now? Throws him into the ropes, picks him up again, and slams him down. What is he going to do next? What the heck? Keith Lee over here flying with these flying karate kicks. Oh, my goodness. Slamming Cameron face forward, bro. Keith Lee is a freaking ninja out here. Keith Lee picks up Cameron Grimes, grabs him with the kick right to the gut. Oh, and he turns him around and hits another slice bread. It seems like these men are really obsessed with these moves right now. Cameron Grimes is telling Keith Lee to get up, and that's what he does, but Cameron Grimes is blocking. Why did he just punch Keith Lee? Why did he just punch him? He picks Cameron up again, grabs him with the Bailey to belly, and slams him down into the mat. The only thing that Cameron Grimes and Keith Lee have in common is that they're both former North American champions. Will that come to play here tonight? They know how to get the job done, but who's going to get the job done here tonight? Oh, gosh. What is Keith Lee about to do? Is he about to hit a Spanish fly from the top rope? Oh, my goodness. Keith is pulling out all the moves to get this universal title match oh my goodness now that was crazy i think he tried to go for a signature but camera reverses it and eats a kick right to the side of the head oh gosh what is lee about to go for and now slams him down with the finisher i forgot the name of it one and a two and a three cameron grimes does not move on in this tournament keith lee moves on to face the winner of walter versus samoa Joe, that will be found out next week. But later on tonight, we will have Braun Strowman versus Rey Mysterio. And look at Cameron Grimes just trying to show the sign of respect. We did see this on Monday Night Raw with Pete Dunne and LA Knight. But, you know, Pete Dunne just slapped the hand out of his face. But these two men, they respect each other. But let's move on to our next match. We have Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke taking on the women's tag team champions, Shotzi Blackheart and Tegan Knox. And oh, look at this. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross attack the women's tag team champions before their match. Oh, my goodness. These two tag teams have been feuding for a little while. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross did defeat, you know, the women's tag team champions in non-title action. So they definitely deserve a women's tag team title opportunity. I might just do it next week, to be honest. But let's move into this two-on-two -two action. Shotzi and Dana stirred up this match, and I think Shotzi got beat down so hard, she don't even know how to land her kicks. Oh, my goodness. And a Hurricane Rana from Dana Brooke. At WrestleMania Backlash, it was originally supposed to be Mandy and Dana against the then-women's tag team champions, Natalya and Tamina, until, you know, Tegan and Shotzi Blackheart made their way into that match. So I know Dana and Mandy definitely want their revenge in a couple of elbows right to the gut of Dana Brooke. Goes for the super kick right to the gut and she hits that Kelly Kelly style hurricane rod duck. Uppercut right to the gut of Dana Brooke and now she's in the corner and she throws it into the other corner and drop kicks her right into that. That's the shotgun drop kick and a ten time. Shotzi Blackheart in control of this match right now. Dana Brooke is literally seconds away from getting stunned is she about to be and yes she is oh my goodness Shotzi can do whatever she wants Blackheart is really bringing it to Brooke right now. Goes for the kick, but it was catch by all. Oh, she kicks her right in her arm. Oh, my goodness. Goes for a knee, but it was reversed by Dana. Dana grabs her, but a kick right to the gut gets her off of her. And slams her down with a sliced bread. What is that? The main move in this whole entire week? Literally, I think I see the four in this whole entire show. Goes for the finisher. That's senton bomb. But it was reversed. She grabs her hair and slams her into the mat and tags in Mandy Rose. One thing that really confuses me about Mandy Rose is why she has her WrestleMania 37 attire on if she's meant to be like the Mandy Rose from NXT. When she wore this attire, she was teaming with Dana Brooke, so Dana should have this attire on too. She tried to go for the dropkick but completely misses and now just stuns her on the rope. Shotzi coming back into the ring and Mandy going to the outside and she dives on her. Oh my goodness. Going crazy right now. Shotzi is real ballsy. She doesn't care what she does. She'll take any stunt just to win the match. Drop kick to Dana Brooke. Is Shotzi about to win this whole match by herself? Don't forget you have a partner. What's Mandy going to do now? Oh my goodness. The slam right to Shotzi's face. 
the disrespect from Mandy Rose tossing her, trying to toss her over the top rope, but Dana literally got there and canceled it out. Shotzi is getting a life being out of her right now by Mandy Rose. All she has to do is tag in a new and fresh Tegan Knox to get a restart over here. Oh, she catches the kick, which they always do. They always reverse that move. This is your opportunity. Oh, the most devastating move in all sports at the table. One and a two and oh, a kick out right before three. Dana and Tegan are fighting inside of the ring too and Shotzi just got slammed face forward and Tegan Knox rolled out of the ring. She is hurt right now, but Shotzi Shotzi is still fighting. She is really still fighting like her own titles are on the line. Drop kick right to Dana Brooke. Oh my goodness. I thought she was about to reverse it for a second. And what is she about to do to Mandy Rose? Throws her over the top rope. It hits her with a drop kick too. Where the heck is Mandy Rose going? Oh my goodness. Shotzi is just waiting for Tegan to get on the apron. Bro, Mandy is dumb. She could have beat down Shotzi this whole entire match. Hit that running knee out of nowhere and possibly won. But no, she let a fresh Tegan Knox get in this match. Tegan Knox is going crazy on Mandy right now. Hooking both arms. And I believe this is Mandy Rose's finisher too. Goes for the pin, but it was a rope break. Tegan Knox is just stomping on Mandy Rose right now. Oh my goodness. But that kick to the chest is always getting reversed as she tags in Dana Brooke. Oh gosh. Runs at her with a kick right to the gut and all these chops. Another chop, another chop, another chop. Oh no, but it was reversed. Dana Brooke is in control of this match now. Picking up Tegan Knox and tossing her down on the ropes. Dana Brooke picking up Tegan Knox right now, but a kick right to the gut and another kick to the gut. Sunset flip. That's the signature. Goes for the pin. One and a two. And Mandy Rose is just right there to break up the pin. Chauncey throwing Mandy out of the ring. Kick right to the gut. And the shiniest wizard was connected. Goes for the pin. I believe this is it for Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose. The women's tag team champions come out with the victory of this match. Even if Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross did jump up before their match, they will get a women's tag team title opportunity next week. You know, they were still able to pick up the win. But let's move on to our next match, which is another corner final of our tournament, Braun Strowman versus Rey Mysterio. Now, Keith Lee beat Cameron Grimes earlier on tonight, making his way down to the semifinals. But Braun Strowman versus Rey Mysterio is happening right now. And who do you think is going to go on to the semifinals? Believe it or not, Braun Strowman is on a losing streak. Every single match that he has been in, he has lost. So don't even be like, oh, he's the monster among men. He's so much bigger and stronger than Rey Mysterio. He's easily going to beat him Rey Mysterio. Mysterio is a former world champion. He knows how to get the job done. Don't put too much of your confidence into Rey Mysterio either. He's only won one match in this universe mode. It was a Money in the Bank qualifying match. It's okay, Rey. You can make your way back up to the top. He was in that six-man match a couple weeks ago to see who goes to pay back for the universal title. It ended up being Damian Priest. Damian lost and obviously got drafted over to Raw. So Rey definitely has has his time is it now we are officially underway with Braun Strowman versus Rey Mysterio. Oh my goodness. Braun brought it as soon as this match started. I really hope Braun Strowman is not about to squash Rey Mysterio. He deserves more. Rey deserves more. And he tosses him overhead. Oh my goodness. Right down on the stomach. But Rey Mysterio reverses it with a kick right to the face. And springboards off the top rope. But he moves out of the way. Hits a senton that doesn't connect. Braun Strowman just picks up Mysterio and slams him down. Oh my goodness. And the punches right to the face. What does Braun Strowman have in mind? Oh my goodness. A belly to belly over the top rope to Rey Mysterio. Rey is just that close to getting stunned. Oh my goodness. And it was almost there. Rey Mysterio dropping the knee down on Braun. Rey Mysterio with the elbow right to the side of Braun Strowman's head. Okay, Rey Mysterio. I see you getting back into this match. And as soon as I started saying something. And let me just shut up because as soon as I start saying something, Braun is about to throw Ray right into the barricade. Oh my goodness. Slamming him down onto the barricade and a big boot right to the side of the head. Imagine if Ray's foot kicked one of the people in the audience. Like, imagine that actually happened in real life. 
I swear, one of y'all better go back into the ring. I don't got time for this. This is a tournament. This is not an actual match. So if y'all both get counted out, okay, he went back into the ring and got back out. Bro, go back into the ring. I think it's a count of four. Okay, just showed a count of four. Slamming him right into the barricade. Now, Rey Mysterio is bleeding, but we can't even see because he's under a mask. We are at a count of seven. Braun, you literally just went into the ring, got back out. Oh, my goodness. I think Braun is trying to throw Rey into the ring, but Rey is not going to let it happen. What is Rey Mysterio trying to do? Oh, my goodness. Gets tossed onto the ground, and he's telling Rey to get up. Is Braun about to take the easy count out victory? Are you actually kidding me? Oh, no. He goes back outside of the ring. Okay, Braun. Okay, Braun, I see you not getting that cheap victory. Oh, gosh. Throwing him right back onto the ground. Running back into the ring and letting Rey Mysterio get back in finally we are outside of the ring for most of the match oh gosh catch the leg twists him over goes up to the top but braun moves out of the way braun picks up Rey mysterio oh my goodness and slams him down with the signature oh gosh i think this is over for mysterio one and a two and a, oh a kick out you can't doubt your boy, Rey Mysterio. Oh, my goodness. Just slamming down on his back. Oh, my gosh. Braun Strowman is being devastated right now. Picks him up just to slam him back on his face. Braun Strowman stomps on Rey Mysterio, but he moves out of the second stomp. Kick right to the leg and, oh, dial it up because we're about to hit Braun with a 6 one nine. Oh, no, my gosh. Braun just grabs the leg and rakes Rey Mysterio out of the ropes. Are you kidding? me Braun are you actually kidding me he was that close to hitting the 619 and he slams him down with a running power slam he doesn't even go for the pin afterwards does he even go for the pin afterwards Braun Strowman just wants to beat the life out of Rey Mysterio slams him down with a running power slam and it was a rope break Strowman picks up Rey Mysterio. What is he about to do? Oh, he was about to go for the signature, but it was reversed. But a rope break. Oh, gosh. These guys are just way too close to the ropes. Kick right to the gut and all. Hits up with the sunset flip or a cold red. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, my goodness. It goes for the pin of Braun Strowman and a one. And a two. Oh, not even a two count. Braun Strowman is nowhere near a signature. Nowhere near a finisher. But Ray has both. So, you better watch out for it. Oh, my goodness. What is Ray going to hit now? Another cold red or sunset flip. Ray went for the pin after the cold red, but it ended in a rope break. Oh, my gosh. These two guys got to get away from the ropes. Finally, something that doesn't end in a rope break, but he kicks out for a one. Ray Mysterio goes up to the top rope and goes for the frog splash, but Braun Strowman reverses it. Oh, my gosh. Ray, you're doing so good. Braun Strowman is now so close to having his finisher, and he has that signature. Oh, my gosh. Slamming down Ray Mysterio. Braun has a finisher and a signature. It's not looking good for Ray Mysterio right now oh gosh and that's the sig picks up Rey Mysterio while he is stunned and hits him with a running power slam goes for the pin one and the two and the three Braun Strowman advances on to the semi-finals but he will not be facing Keith Lee he'll be facing whoever wins next week in the tournament oh gosh this match was so so good but let's move on to our next match which is a fatal five-way women's match to see who will be the next number one contender for Tony Storm SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, Tony Storm managed to beat Rhea Ripley at Payback, but can she beat the woman who already beat Rhea Ripley before, which is Charlotte Flair? Oh, yeah, Charlotte Flair got drafted over to SmackDown, and now she's getting an opportunity at the SmackDown Women's Championship. But next, we have Naomi. Naomi been on SmackDown this whole entire time, never got an opportunity at the SmackDown Women's Championship, and I know she's really wanting it. She really wants to fight for it. But next, we have Liv Morgan. She was in the triple threat match with Rhea Ripley and Casey Catanzaro. To see who went to payback for the women's championship. She was not in the decision to win or lose. So she definitely, you know, wants to get an opportunity now. But she could also be in decision not to win or lose in this one too. And next, we have Drop, the newest signee to SmackDown. She actually was a free agent before 
for this. So imagine being a free agent going to SmackDown Women's Championship. Hey, that's kind of what Tony Storm did. She was a free agent. Then she won the Battle Royal. Then she became SmackDown Women's Championship. I mean, champion. So maybe Dewdrop can do the same thing. And last but not least... Who was the woman that Tony Storm had to beat for that SmackDown Women's Championship? Oh, yeah. It was the boss, the blueprint, the standard, Sasha Banks. Sasha getting an opportunity at the SmackDown Women's Championship. I know she definitely wants to build her way right back up to the top. We are officially underway with this match. Who is going to pay back for the SmackDown Women's Championship? Honestly, I don't want to say it, but I think Charlotte Flair might win. I don't I don't want her to win, but I think she might. You know, she is Charlotte Flair. She does things like that. I think she might just win. Charlotte Flair or Liv Morgan? I want, I want Liv Morgan to win, but I think Charlotte Flair is going to win. Look at Charlotte and Sasha. She just slammed her on the second hardest part of the ring because I actually learned today that the uh, turnbuckle is the hardest part of the ring. You learn something new every day. Also, I would love if Naomi won. That would be such a good thing. Oh my goodness. Slamming Dewdrop right on her face and a drop kick to Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan with them kicks right to Naomi's gut and oh my goodness trips her down. I don't think I ever seen Liv Morgan do that before. Sasha Banks coming inside of the ring and jumps over the top rope when she definitely missed Charlotte Flair. Oh my goodness. Dewdrop just tosses Liv on the ground and now Charlotte and Sasha are literally going back and forth. Charlotte tosses Sasha Banks right into the barricade. It's like those two women hate each other. They're going at it. Oh my goodness. They definitely wanted to have their hands on one another. Oh my goodness. And Liv Morgan putting her legs around Dewdrop and slamming her down with the Hurricane Ronda. And Naomi going after Sasha Banks now. How in actual life does Liv Morgan have Dewdrop picked up like that so easily? Oh my goodness. Now Charlotte and Sasha are fighting over who's going to fight Naomi. Oh my goodness. Liv Morgan and Dewdrop are really going at it. And Liv keeps hitting that Hurricane Ronda. And Naomi going up to the top rope. Oh gosh. You you better break up that pin, Naomi. Guess Sasha is gonna let Charlotte and Naomi fight. Oh, I guess not anymore. Just that quick. It's over. Hurricane Ronda right to Charlotte Flair. And it seems like Naomi doesn't want Sasha to touch Charlotte at all. Oh, Lamar, you go up to the second rope in Bulldogging. Her right to the ground. Oh, kick right to the side of the head of Lamar. He goes for the pin one. And a breakup from Sasha Banks. Oh, my goodness. Sasha was just right there to break up the pin. Who knows if Liv Morgan would have took the three count to that. All the women are back inside of the ring. Dewdrop just got slammed in her face. She rolls out of the ring. I think Naomi just had her signature on the Charlotte Flair. It goes to the pin. But again, oh, I was going to say again, Sasha breaks it up. But the ropes actually broke it up this time. Oh, gosh. Sasha and Naomi are the only ones in the ring right now fighting. Kick right to the back. Naomi rolling outside of the ring. All the women are stunned outside. If Sasha would have just hit her signature, that probably would have been a wrap for this match because, remember, Charlotte did get hit with Naomi's signature. Two signatures could have took out Charlotte Flair, but now Charlotte has her signature. She can slam on the ground by Dewdrop. Sasha goes to pin Dewdrop, and oh, Charlotte was just too busy taunting, so Liv Morgan had to break it up. Now all the women are back inside of the ring. It seems like Naomi wants to fight Dewdrop. Oh, gosh, double leg right to the midsection. Golly, Naomi's really bringing it to Dewdrop right now, and Sasha, oh, Liv Morgan is bringing it to Sasha, actually. Punch right to the back of Dewdrop in a side Russian leg sweep. If Morgan picks up Naomi and slams her down with her finisher, Charlotte better break up this pin. Oh, yeah, she breaks it up immediately. Before the count of one, big boo out of nowhere. Right to LeBorgan, goes for the pin. That should be a real break one. And a two, and Dewdrop was right there to break up the pin. Oh, my goodness. That was so close. Charlotte almost stole the win. Charlotte Flair and Liv Morgan working together with a double suplex. And Naomi with a kick to the gut and signature down on Dewdrop. Sasha Banks roll out of the ring. Charlotte Flair tossed out of the ring and what is Dewdrop about to get hit with right now? Oh my goodness. No clothesline to Liv Morgan and Dewdrop about to get hit with another signature I believe, but it was reversed. All these ladies have finishers aside from Liv Morgan. Does that come into play? Oh! Chop in a natural selection right to Naomi. Charlotte Flair might be able to steal the win. One and a two and a kick out by Naomi. Are you actually kidding me? I think Liv Morgan hit her signature I believe because she was the only one without a finisher. Golly. 
Naomi made her way back up to her feet. Oh, a rear view right to Charlotte Flair. That might be a road break. No, it's not. Oh, Liv Morgan just breaks it up immediately. Oh, my goodness. Dewdrop rolls out of the ring. These two women are beating the mess out of each other. Kick right to the face. Oh, my goodness. Liv Morgan gets picked up, and she gets thrown into the ropes. She goes under, and she tries to grab her, but does nothing. And back again, Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks are fighting. Charlotte and Dewdrop are outside of the ring right now. Liv Morgan just hit her signature, but Naomi is up with the drop kick. Oh, gosh. She rolls out of the ring. A drop kick does not connect on Sasha Banks. What is Sasha about to do? Is she about to hit the bank statement? She could just hit it out of nowhere. Oh, I think she's about to, but Dewdrop is not going to let that happen. She should have just let it happen and broke it up while it was happening. What is Sasha doing? Oh, I know what Sasha's doing. She's getting close like by Naomi into the ropes. Okay, what is Naomi about to do she's getting thrown onto aprons and now charlotte flair is stomping the mess out of sasha right now and dewdrop just slams down naomi out of the ring Sasha Banks rolled out of the ring, and now Zudrop and Charlotte are the only ones in the ring attacking that leg, so she won't be able to hit the big boot, and Naomi jumping over the top rope onto Liv Morgan, oh my goodness, and hitting a natural selection on Dewdrop, clothesline out of nowhere, what is Naomi about to do, oh gosh, another clothesline, and Liv Morgan trying to steal the pin out of nowhere, what the heck, oh, okay, they break it up, oh gosh, Liv Morgan trying to steal the victory, but it did not work. And her favorite big boom right to Naomi goes for the pin. Liv Morgan, you better pay attention. Comment down below who do you think is going to be the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's title. And oh, the most devastating move in all sports entertainment to do job one and a two and a three. What the heck? Naomi steals the win out of nowhere, bro. Sasha Banks could have broke up the pin, but Charlotte Flair laid down. Liv Morgan in the way, so Sasha wasn't. Oh my goodness, bro. You literally just have to rewind it and look at it. Sasha Banks was trying to break up the pin, but Charlotte Flair laid down Liv Morgan on the ground, blocking the way. Oh my goodness. Naomi taking the victory out of nowhere. She's going to clash of champions for that SmackDown Women's Championship. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Subscribe to the channel if you have it. Turn those post notifications on if you want to see another upload by me. Without further ado, Good.